Bring the balance of seventy thousand letter. Man, you already know that. Hey, man, that's the very what I've been praying for. You can for it, Oh no, it's okay. I let me rush so that I can arrange for this balance. Fine. 
And you. Fine. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Hmm. How's everybody? Everybody's fine. I'm not saying that you got. Your mom asked me to give you this. There's ishokoroko and vegetables and then guys. All for me. That's nice. That means your journey was planned. No, not exactly. She was one who came to the house though. I said I should bring them to you. She said Tinelo is indisposed. Tell me he's disposed of what? I don't know. I think she's down with Malaria. Oh, that's good. Well, let's take this into the kitchen now. And, uh, you know... You know you're not going to be now. Uh, I've been missing <laughs> you. <laughs> that's what you're doing. You're missing me. I need you to start with the people to take my dress, so... So we'll start to live together. Ah, uh, no. I do. I do. I do. Don't worry, you're Come along, babe. Do that. So, baby, I, I plan to spend just two to three years and I'll be back for good. David, have you considered what you're telling me? You want me to wait for three years before I get to see my future husband. That's what you're telling me. Come on, Jenny. You know I love you. You're my first love. Whatever decision I'm taking, I'm taking it for our interest. My business is not doing fine anymore. Eh? Look, I need to travel out there so I can hustle like the rest of my friends. And you need to stay for three years. Time flies now. Time flies. Mm -hmm. Three years will just come and go and then I'll be back for, for, for good. Alright? We'll be together forever. Come on. I don't like you. I understand. I don't. I understand. Just try. Mm -hmm. Try and understand, okay? I want to go there. Make some money. Come back for my baby. Come on. Just tell me to go. Be happy. It's for interest, alright? You know what I'm saying? That's not giving me. I wonder what the match will be without you. Come on, baby. It's just for a short while. Alright? Who knows? Like, we we'll just go there and. I decided to spend two years and come back to my baby. Even two years is a long time. But it's okay, I don't want you to look like I'm complaining. I mean, I'm happy for you, so... You look like I'm doing prayers that God guides you wherever it is you are. And pray that you don't forget me. You know I can't forget you. You know. Yes. Of course. Okay, there's no way I can, honey. I promise you that. Okay? Don't worry, I, I'll tell my friend. I'll tell my friend Uganda to take very good care of me, alright? Don't worry, I'll be fine. Don't bother, I'll go and I'm sure you have to go. Uganda is my very good friend. I mean, anytime, he can always be of help. Right? Because I'll have something to do. What will you do? Wait for him or what? Well, David and I have talked it over and I've, I've decided to wait for him. What do you mean you have decided to wait for him? Do you know what three years means? One, two, three solid years. Mama, three years is nothing compared to the love I have for him. I understand where you're coming from. It's painful, but the sacrifice I'm willing to make for the man I love. I don't think you know the weight you're about to shoulder. You don't know. Wait for enough for three solid years. What? Follow me. I don't want to leave. Mama, wait now. Don't let me take too far. 
Did you not come to do the introduction like Papa and Sir Kenny and Sir Kenny and Sir? He hasn't said I'm no longer his wife. What is it? What is happening here? You are not yet married to David. Now tell your father what he told me. What is it, my daughter? Open your mouth and talk! Papa, David is traveling to Holland. Good news? What's wrong with that? What do you mean by good news? She hasn't even finished her story. David is staying in Holland for three years before coming home. Three years? Uh -huh. Is he going with you, Janet? Answer him. No, Papa. I'm, I'm going to wait for him. Did you hear that? Marvelous work of God. Mm -hmm. For the past three years, my son has been talking of going to Obodo Ibo, and God decided to answer him just this year. We thank God. Yes, so. We thank God. Uh, now, how long is he going to stay there? Or is he just going to go there and come back? Well, I have not seen or heard from uh, David to know what his plans are. But I feel that he's going to stay there for some time because uh, his business for some time now has not been flourishing. Well, if he's going to stay there, then he will be going with his wife. Um, I think it's still early for us to deliberate on that. Why don't we wait and see David to tell us what his plans are? That is it.
and come back peacefully. Amen. And may you never strike your foot against any stone. Amen. Mm. The great ancestors and the good Lord will make your path smooth. Amen. Let the good things that have been entering other people's compound enter our heart. Amen. 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 So, how did you make it, my son? Now, let me eat his food first. Then, your food. Thank you, Mom. Wow. Of food, I've been eating while you all are Brother, yeah. I hope you buy something for me from Holland. Of course, now just bring for me, I will buy it. Yeah. Before I can now invite you over. Huh? <laughs> I will. Brother, I will join you with Three years is the last time in the lives of a young man and a young woman. 
Sapai and Rutan. But I'll go and come back. <laughs> the minds of men are full of desire. One desire can change about that desire. Yeah. But Janet, the in fact Janet is the first woman I ever loved. Nothing will make me change my mind. I will never abandon her. Um, if you want my daughter to wait for you for these three years, come with your people to pay her bride price. That way she can wait for you for eternity. Do you hear me? Man, I am not the support of going to pay any bride price. David is a young man. What of if he comes back and Janet no longer suitable for him? Besides, nobody can trust girls of today. Especially the beautiful ones. Mama, I trust Janet. Mama, I trust Janet. And we both agreed to wait for each other. I don't think anything will make me change my mind. Mm. Mm. Three years is not three days. Should we go ahead and pay her bright price? Automatically she becomes your wife. And you'll be expected to take care of her, just like a husband does to a wife. Papa, what you should even be telling me that is that we should go there today, tomorrow, to make the payment so I can continue with my journey. That's what you should be telling me. Well, um, tomorrow is fair, okay? Next is uh, Oriya. So we'll go next tomorrow. Eh, hey, tomorrow. Good. So that I'll use tomorrow to inform all our kingdom. Fine. My people, you are welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Our people say that what an elder sees sitting, a child may not see standing. Against this background, I suggest that as we proceed, we hear from our daughter that she is ready to wait for David till he comes back from overseas. All the same, we would also want to hear from David that whenever he comes back to this land, Janet will still remain his wife. Master uh, Konko, I have asked my daughter Janet and she has said she is willing to wait. And my son has also assured me that uh, he's not going to marry any other girl except Jenny. Good, good. Uh, but what is bad in getting the children to declare before us mm -hmm. that they are willing to wait for each other? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I vow to marry Janet. I accept her as my wife. Nothing will make me change my mind. I have a question for you. Are you aware that David is traveling overseas? Yes, sir. Good. Are you also aware that he may be spending upwards of three years there? Yes, sir. 
Will you wait for him? Yes, sir. Good. <laughs> you can now go. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> My people, I greet you once more. No, no. No, no. Let's proceed. What we are doing today is in keeping with our tradition hmm? that a man should hand over his daughter to another man yes. in marriage yes. for happiness and joy and never for sorrow or regret. Good. <coughs> now, let's continue. Let's go ahead with negotiation. What, what do you want to give us? What give you? Any one is again, don't you? Hmm? 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 My in-laws. For a start. Empty-handed. Amen. The good Lord will see you through. Amen. 
Uh-huh. Hey, Manu, that's what we're looking for. <laughs> Go on, let's do it. Janet, I know. Is it because of David's absence? <laughs> oh, 
I'm fine. I miss him though, but... Hey, come, come, come. <laughs> Janet, that you're missing David is not enough reason for you not to take care of yourself. I'm taking care of myself now, but... You know how it is in this village. Things are hard, and there's no money. Hey, Ned. Didn't David tell you to always come to me whenever you have a problem? You're beautiful, Janet. Don't let your beauty fade away before David comes back. Excuse me. Buy yourself some toiletries. You need to take good care of yourself. Thank you. You're welcome. So when are you coming to Enugu? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Whenever you're in Enugu, don't fail to see me, okay? Okay. Bye-bye. Let's just pray that he gets better. Stop that fire, you dead. 
Go and bring that your so called husband to come and take him to the hospital. He knows I'm meant to be of help, not to run away. I try to bring down this thing, the more it goes up, what am I going to do now? My father's condition is worsening. And it's about time we take him to the hospital, but we don't have enough money for treatment. So I, I, I come to you, please, if you have anything, it doesn't matter, let's just back off. Well, uh, my daughter, since David traveled, things have been very difficult for this house. And you are a witness. If I have money, why should I not take my in-law to hospital for treatment? Hey, no. Hmm? Um. Hmm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, please, I want to see Oga Ogunla. Oga? Oga Ogunla? Yeah. Who do you have? Um, David's wife. Just tell him David's wife. David's wife. Oga, 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 get this. This is David's wife. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Then this one is uh, two thousand naira. 
This is 2,000 naira. To we'll give you the remaining 800 later. Give it to me. Get ready to leave! 
came to your house, they said you went to buy drugs. Yes, my went to buy drugs. My daddy's health is coming very critical. Nothing will happen to him, okay? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Um, Janet! That's me, sir. How are you? Oh, thank you. Where are you coming from? The house. Uh, by the time I got home, they said you had left. So I decided to come and say thank you for the food. And I, was, I was really glad that you came. Especially now that we've no head from my husband. Don't worry, my dear. Hmm? You are a daughter and a good wife to us. We pray that um, your father will get out of that sick bed soon. Okay? Yes. Amen, sir. Thank you, sir. Jane? No. Don't worry. Nothing will happen to him, okay? Nothing will happen to him. Thank you. Papa, your water is ready. You came here this afternoon. Yes. Sorry, I had a little business meeting to attend. Okay. Sit down. Sit down. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm very sorry that uh, happened. Uh, just tell me what the problem is. To my father. His condition is critical now. Oh, he collapsed on, on his way to the bus. Oh, my God. We don't have any money. Please. Then we take him to the hospital. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down, calm down, calm down. You see, Janet, it's too late to go back to the village. Very late. Tomorrow I'll go with you to the village and I'll take you to the hospital, okay? 
Thank you very much. Uh, hey, 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 it's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Have you taken anything? Mm. Okay, come. Now I'll show you the kitchen so you can prepare some food for yourself, okay? And thereafter, you have your shower and go to bed. Hmm? Thank you. It's okay. Come. And that's the kitchen. You'll find some frozen food in the refrigerator, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. You're beautiful, Janet. I don't know if anyone has ever told you you're beautiful. Thank you. But I really want to go to bed right now. Oh, feel free. Let's spend the night together. You're not serious. Janet, I have never been more serious in my life. If I tell you I love you, you might doubt it. But the truth of the matter is, I really do love you. I'm your best friend, wife. Well, my best friend is not here to solve the situation right now. And he won't be in the next two years or so. So right now, I am your only hope. Remember, one good anticipated time deserves another. Janet, you need my help. I'm not asking for too much, am I? Remember, your father needs to be taken to the hospital. He needs urgent medical attention. Why can't you take five money and send this man to hospital, or do you want him to die here? Eh? Why can't you take five money and send this man to hospital, or do you want him to die here?
Come out this morning. And how is he now? Is he responding to treatment now? Mama, have you eaten anything? Why? Um, Janet, let's go buy some food for you and Mama. Come on. Mama, I can off. Let me get some food for both of you. What are we doing here? Janet, I brought you to my house so that we can talk privately. I'm not in the mood to talk. Just take me back to the hospital, please. Janet. Just take me Janet, to the Janet, hospital. Janet, calm down. Just listen to me. And I really am sorry about what happened. I don't want you to think I took advantage of you. No. I've always had strong feelings for you. <sighs> Janet. Let bygones be bygones. Let, let's be mature about this, okay? And you don't. No, 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 look, I, I promised David that I'll take care of you. I, I don't want this to stop that. Anytime you have a problem, you can come to me, okay? Take me back to the hospital. Janet, Janet. Don't be edgy around I want to go back to the hospital, please. Okay, okay, just come down and go to your car, okay? Thank you. 
You're welcome, sir. I'm well now. How are you? Everybody. Everyone is fine. Everyone is fine. But how is Holland? My brother, it's very cold out here. Hey. But anyhow, you know man must survive. Abby. Did you see my parents? Yes, I went to the village a couple of days back and I saw your mom. In fact, everyone is worried about your welfare. What about my wife? Do you see her of late as well? Uh, Join it. Yeah. I've not seen her since she left the shelf of this country. You don't mean it. Oh, my baby. I know you must be missing me by now. Um, are you planning to come back very soon? I don't think so, so soon, because I have just gotten my papers and I am on a new year. Um, see, baby, I advise you to take your time. Sort yourself out so that you don't make any mistake, huh? <laughs> How is the business climate in Holland? Yeah, this is uh, booming over here. Ah, so I'll tell me, you know I'm a big supplier. Mm -hmm. Work I won't buy over there and sell here, you know? Um, automobiles, you know. It's, it's, it's really a good business over here. Mm, cars? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. what about clothing? No, talk yeah. to me, talk to me. I'm a businessman, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You have refused to tell me what you ate. What is wrong with you? No, there's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. You are pregnant. <laughs> Look at your face. Look at your body. Who is responsible? Tell me, I am not angry. A living dog is better than a dead man. So tell me. Huh? After all, I know it is a man, a real man, that can put you in this condition. Tell me who it is. Eh? Tell your mother, there's no other person to tell. Tell me. Ladies, what a surprise. I don't believe her. Please, sit down, sit down. What do I offer you? Nothing. Nothing? Janet, how have you been? Why have you been avoiding me? There is a problem. Because I know on a normal day you wouldn't visit me. Is it Papa again? Mama, do not feel free to talk to me. Tell me what the problem is. I'm pregnant. I'm going to have 
going to do? I'm so scared. I'm so scared. David, have you considered what you're telling me? You want me to wait for three years before I get to see my future husband. That's what you're telling me. Come on, Jenny. You know I love you. You're my best love. Whatever decision I'm taking, I'm taking it for our interest. My business is not doing fine anymore. I need to travel out there so I can hustle like the rest of my friends. And you need to stay for three years. Time flies now. Time mm -hmm. flies. Three years will just come and go and then I'll be back for, for, for good. Alright? We'll be together forever. Come on. I don't mind. I understand. Mm -hmm. I understand. Just try. Mm -hmm. Try and understand, okay? I want to go there, make some money, come back for my baby. Come on. Just tell me to go. Be happy. It's for interest, alright? 
Are you aware that David is traveling overseas? Yes, sir. Good. Are you also aware that he may be spending upwards of three years there? Yes, sir. Will you wait for him? have both good and bad news for you. Is it confirmed that Janet is pregnant? Mm -hmm. Well, that may be part of the bad news. But the good news is that a rich man is coming to marry our daughter. <laughs> what is the bad news? Well, it's not a bad news per se. Mm. Janet is already pregnant for her husband. Is David back and I didn't know? Papa, David is no longer my husband. He's not married to a white woman. Are you pregnant? She's pregnant for Ugonna. Who? Ugonna? Who's Ugonna? The boy that took you to the hospital. David's friend. Yes. Why? Why not? I felt that the best thing we shall do is to come and see you people. Our coming, therefore, is to know what we shall do to marry Janet formally, according to our tradition. You are welcome. The greatest problem about this matter is that Blythe is involved. Now, our daughter is pregnant. And the man who paid her bride the price, whom we all know as her husband, is overseas. As you all know, our culture does not permit a woman to be married to two different men at the same time. Mm. However, okay, what do you have to say? Well, all this came about because my daughter did not want me to die. Were it not for my illness, I don't think Nah, that is not what you are expected to be saying now. What you should be thinking about is how to pay back David's useless money. Keep quiet, woman. Have the gods now taken away wisdom from men, warranting a woman to stand up and pass judgment amongst men? No. Never in the least. No. No. <clears throat> okay, well, please continue with what you're saying. <clears throat> Ugonna, 
you've left this family. But I wish David were here to say that he is no longer interested in my daughter. Mm. I have given away my daughter in marriage. And that marriage stands until the bright prize I received from David and his people is returned. Yes, mom. Mm -hmm. Whatever you people are saying, you should consider my daughter's condition. Are you saying that uh, uh, she should keep waiting for an absentee husband? Is that what people are saying? Whatever ah. is Janet's condition, we must follow the tradition. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. As long as our tradition is concerned, the man who paid the bright price is the father of the child. And it is that Janet is pregnant for David. I disagree with you. I disagree with you. She's David Travel. Has he sent even a cobble to this family? Eh? Does he know that there has been this village? But, eh? Papa, are you listening at all? David is married to a white woman. What am I supposed uh, to do? Sit down here and wait for him because he paid a bright price on my head. Oh. Janet, even if David is married to ten white women. You are still his first wife. Janet, get ready. We are going moving into Ugonat's house. You are moving into his house. Ask his wife. Finish. How are you? made me very happy, man. Well, honestly. <sighs> Darling, you don't know what this means to me. I feel so, so, so healed. Lots of junior on the way, and I know better things are in store for us.
we've had it. I was even thinking of coming to your house. I didn't know you would come, considering your health. Well, I had to come. Our people say that remembering yesterday is thinking of the future. Your son was very good to me as a father-in-law. Uh -huh. uh, is it true that David is married to a white woman? David, my son, married to a white woman. We've never heard of that. Ogunna told my daughter that David is married to a white woman and that in fact he is expecting a child by her. Wait, wait, wait. Gunna told Jenny to your daughter. Yeah. He didn't tell us. Besides, all the messages my son David sends comes through him. Huh? Even if David is married to a white woman, Ugona ought to have told us before telling any other person. Ugona and my son have been friends right from the days of their childhood. Children of these days. Children of these days. Hey! Uh, hmm. Well, uh, I have come to formally inform you that Janet is pregnant for Uguna. And that Uguna's people have come to see us. We are thinking of uh, returning the bright prize. Well, uh, I have nothing to say on that. If the bride prize should be returned, it must be when my son comes back.
I think I have stayed long enough. I want you to help me tell Ugona when he comes back that you people should take me home. Okay. I'll tell him. I wish I could go with you. No, no. It's too early. Eh? You just had a baby. I know. So I would have loved to visit David's parents. What? See who? Look, I don't ever want to hear you mention that name in your life. What do you mean by that? Ugona is rich, he's handsome, and he has succeeded in making you a proud mother. What else are you looking for in a runaway husband? What are you looking for? Be careful, I don't want you to say it again. Mama, it's not easy getting over David, it's not. David was my very first love. And Ugona is the first man to make you a proud mother. What do you want? You have everything here. Eh? Look, 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 look at everywhere. Don't ever mention it. One day you just drop it in his ears and he won't be happy with you. for everything. <laughs> well, your parents are okay, very okay. Janet, um, let me ask you, David. Do you still have any intention of living with us? Well, I've not seen her in a very long while. Wow, that will be great. Very great. Look, you're coming home after a long stay overseas with a cost of celebration. In fact, everybody will be happy to see you back. Um, David, it's it's so unfortunate that um I will not be around during the period you mentioned. You know, some business tours. Uh no, no, out outside the country. Well, I, I try pretty really.
Where do you sleep? You're beautiful, Janet. I don't know if anyone has ever told you you're beautiful. Thank you. But I really want to go to bed right now. Oh, feel free. Let's spend the night together. You're not serious. Janet, I have never been more serious in my life. I love you. you. Might doubt it. But the truth of the matter is, I really do love you. I'm your best friend is Well, my best friend is not here to solve the situation right now. And he won't be in the next two years or so. So right now, I am your only hope. Remember, one good anticipated time deserves another. Janet, you need my help. I'm not asking for too much, am I? Remember, your father needs to be taken to the hospital. He needs urgent medical attention. Yeah. 
Wow. thank you. God, I thank you. <laughs> Papa, you're still looking strong, you know? God, I like that. God, God is alive. I know. Mm. God is alive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, my son. Mama, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my son. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. You're kicking through yourself. Papa, brother. Go to the boat and get things ready in our house. Yes, brother. Amaka, come, 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 come. <laughs> Um, what about Jenna? And she... Amaka, Mama, I need to see my brother. Yes, Mama. Mama, what about my wife? Mama, what about my wife? She left her a few days ago. You mean it? Yes. Good, 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 good. Yeah. 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 Yes, you would have sent messages across that you are coming back home so that uh, we can prepare a welcome in advance. Uh oh, um, you mean the coordinator did not tell you people that I was going to come back home? No, he didn't tell anybody, he didn't tell us. In fact, it's been long. He came here last. David, um, didn't you go to his house? Actually, he told me that uh, he was going to travel, so I didn't bother checking on him. Besides that, uh, I tried his line, but uh, it wasn't going through. Maybe he traveled. I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> um, Mom, Dad, I need to see you for sure. My in-laws. No, 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 no. For the food is ready. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> they need one. You don't do things like that. At least you need to take your bath, eat your food, and have a little rest before going anywhere. Yeah, that's right. Let me just go see them and as well tell my wife that I'm back home. My son, you have to eat first. Dennis is not running away. I know, right? Okay. You're well, eat first. Me. 
He should leave my daughter alone. He has come back with his bad luck. Tell him to go back to wherever he came from with his bad luck. Tell him to leave my daughter alone. He should leave my daughter alone. Monica, if I have a son like David, I will be proud of him. Guinea. Of the boy that delivered you from death. Not a runaway husband. Not a runaway son in law. Tell him to leave my for you. I'm sorry, I'm Okay, don't come out, but Madame is inside. Really? Yes, sir. Okay, let me see Madame now. Okay, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Baby! My baby! Ah, come on. Give me a hug. Are you not happy to see me? Don't touch me. Just 
student have come back. The student have come back from Holland. Do you know that people might not be happy that we are best of friends? That's why I do this when they do more that I take your trap. That's their business. The most important thing there is for us to keep our friendship. Because I know it will not be possible for you to keep on me. But they I'm hungry. Well, let's go and check if my mother has finished cooking so that I can eat together. What I'm trying to say is that is that I'm trying to come to be truthful to one another. So, why are you saying this now? Your friend is going now. He was the one that diverted out your customer from Marcos to my shop. I was there when it all started. Boy, burn that level. Burn the level. Look, whatever problem I'm having with Michael, it has nothing to do with Gona. Gona is my very good friend. He will never do anything against me. Boy, I hope so you know what you do. Don't worry, I, I'll tell my friend. I'll tell my friend to go there to take very good care of you, right? Don't worry, I'll be fine. Don't bother, I'll go I'm sure you have to go No, 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 no. is my very good friend. I mean, anytime, he can always be of help, right? Because I'll have some dreams. Thank you. 
hope you are not having a problem with your husband. I said it in here. Who is David? Huh? Hell. Hell for him. So, that on the way husband has come back. He has come back to destroy your joy. That is the name. You are welcome, man. Eh? Don't listen to your mother. What do you mean by that? Eh? Okay, ma. You are not strong enough to talk. You are not strong enough to talk. And you want to forget everything about the boy that saved your life. Ugona took advantage of me, mama, because of Papa's illness. So he lied about everything, my a waste woman. He lied. Do you know that? I'm not going back to him, you understand? I'm never going back to him. No, my daughter. You have to go back to him. Remember, you already have a son for him. Janet! Janet! Mm, but, Mama, is he a husband? Will you shut your mouth up? Shut up your mouth! Which one do you know? Which one is husband and which one is wife? Get it. I never knew that was the kind of friend I had in the corner. But Janet betrayed my son. My son, when a marriage fails, the next thing that comes to mind is how to disentangle the parties that are involved. Your marriage with Janet is a marriage that never was. David, I don't like the way you are carrying along this issue. We will get you another good girl who knows what marriage is all about. Simple. That Janet is a mother is not even the pain. After I traveled and left her for three years long, possible for her to fall into temptation. The anger here is that she did it with my best friend. the trust of your friend by sleeping with his wife. Now that he is back, what do you expect us to do? The fact that she had a son for you does not make her your wife. That's why I'm asking what I should do. Because of my son. Son, your father is right. That we must not lose our son because of custom. 
I advise you talk to David and his people and plead with them to collect back the bride price they paid on Janet's head. If they do, then we talk of going to Janet's people to ask her hand in marriage. Um, Papa, Mama, I have to be sincere with you people. I love Janet with all my heart. What we are talking now is not about love, my son. It is about reality. Do you understand that? My people, I greet you. Thank you. Hugun, I'm happy you are here. The good thing you did for this family you turned round to destroy. You were here with Debbie the day he paid Janet's bride price. How can you, you, Ugun, you of all people, to the extent of impregnating her? Now, a child has been born, and David is back. What our people know is that Janet is David's wife, and we can only return his money to him according to tradition. My people, I greet you once again. What we have come here for is not to claim that Janet is our wife, but to plead for your understanding and forgiveness. David, we all know that you love Janet, but because of what happened, we are now pleading with you to accept the bride price back. My people, I greet all of you. It is painful that my own childhood friend slept with my wife. It is also painful that he told lies to my wife, lies about me. It is also very painful to say that I loved Janet. I still love her. Janet is my first love. She was the only woman I ever told that I would marry. And the only woman that I ever got married. My people, I greet you. David, I'm sorry for all that happened. I really am. But I want to ask for your understanding. Janet and I already have a baby. And I love her very much. Please, just calm down. Gona. You, Gona, you surprised me. You really surprised me. You, my childhood friend, sleeping with my own wife and you're telling me you love her. Calm down, calm down, calm down, boy. It's all right. What's the matter with you? Hmm? It's all right. Yes, um, my people, I want to suggest that this meeting be adjourned to another day. Let me go home and talk to my son. Mm -hmm. While you go home and talk to your children. Yes, Maybe when next we meet, we'll be able to resolve this issue. Uh, my people. Please, I, I want to make a little promise. I promise to refund to David all the money he spent so far on Janet. And I'm um, also sponsor him should he find another wife. Look, Ugona, do you know the level of insult you are giving to me? Do you know that? Look, I don't need your damn money anymore. Neither do I even need your friendship. Mama, Papa, I'm going out of it. No, come back. 
What sort of stupid question is that? Huh? I want to see David. I need to see David, Mama. You want to see David, huh? He's in my mouth. Ah. Right here. Is that why I have refused to take care of your child? Follow that useless boy to Bodo Ibo. Carry your baby. Carry your baby. to go now, to die of hunger. Eh? How? Come inside, Janet. You need to eat something, eh? Huh? Hmm? Come inside. Come inside. I'm coming to the door. Come in, baby. Oh? Put him. He says he's coming. Let's go. Come inside. Good 
Well, few days. I am caught in an afternoon rain. Hey, what is the problem? Janet, my daughter, is in trouble. Janet, what's wrong with her? Where is she? My in law. Welcome. I hope all is well. Mm. Janet is at home. Where can we find your son, David? My in law, we have not seen David since the day of that meeting. See, today that I'm talking to you. Yes, David turned his back on us as if we are the one that introduced Janet to Ghana. We've not seen him. Is there no way we can find him? Well, um, no. uh, except if I send somebody to city to look for him. Lalo. Nine. Please uh, go and get him, call or not. Okay, nine. Please tell whoever you are sending to tell him that we want to see him. for him anyway. If you don't come back, I'll shout and tell people that you are mad. And they'll bring you up and tie you. What? Go back to the house. Why should you care if I'm mad or not, Mama? After all, I've been a thorn in your flesh since David traveled abroad. You stopped loving me. You stopped caring for me. So what difference does madness mean to you? Hmm? Adam. I still love you. And I care very much about you. Eh? That is why I don't want you to make the mistake of your life. But when you understand that I'm old enough to take control of my life like Papa Dom, David is my life and I'm going to look for him. I don't know. Let's go back to this house. Papa will soon come back. We will also sit together and talk about it. Oh? Oh? I don't know. Problem, oh my son, there is problem. Huh? Janet is. I, I, I don't know how to explain her condition, but it is really bad. Since when? 
for about two weeks now. Two weeks. Well, it's quite a pity. Sorry. I have come to ask for your help. See, madam, let me be straight with you. I heard about her condition. I hear she goes about asking about David, right? Mm, she says she wants to see David. Uh huh. <laughs> she wants to see David? Then why are you here? Oh, you want me to come and help, only to become an enemy at the end of the day. No, madam, that's not possible. Please, my son. Hmm? Even if it's because of your son, hmm. because. Madam. What I am thinking now is about the welfare of my son. That is, if you people accept that he is my son. Who? No. Nobody is saying that he's not your son, no. Madam, madam, please. I don't want to have anything to do with a girl who stood up in public to say that she hates me. A girl that's telling lies about me. No. Are you saying that you will not help us? Yes, ma'am. That's what I am saying. Please, my son. Be gone. Do it because of your son. Oh, please. I'm begging you. We really need your help now. Be gone. Things are really bad. Be gone. I went to his house. And the governor told me to my face that he will not want anything to do with my daughter again. But has it been made any effort to contact David? Because I think Jenny's sickness is love sickness. I have been to their house. And the parents told me that they have not seen him ever since. But they promised to send somebody to the city to look for him. Listen to me. The most important thing now is to raise money and send her to hospital for treatment. As you can see, David, whom we all know as the husband, is nowhere to be found. All the same, Ugonna, who is the father of the child, says he will not have anything to do with her. So the, we have no option except to face the music. The problem is ours as a family. How far do I know? David is our son-in-law, so his father must be forced to contribute money for her treatment if David is nowhere to be found. Because of my daughter Janet. Is it for me to pick up my bride fight? No. David, I want you to reconsider your position concerning my daughter Janet. Look, I still consider you as my son in law. For the sake of Janet's heart, I want you to take her back as your wife. Papa, I actually came here because of the respect I have for you. 
and the kindness you have shown me in the past. As for Janet, I don't want to talk about her. My wife lost her. Let's go inside now. Uh, welcome, my son. Good evening. Good evening. Why didn't you people come inside? Um, hmm? Let's go inside. Okay, yeah, mama. Mama, David. Please, my son. I'm begging you. If you want me to kneel down for you, I will kneel down for you. Hmm? The bulk of the blame is on me. I was afraid. Eh? You know, nobody's about me see. Some of those boys that come and marry girls here, they travel abroad and forget them. I didn't know you would come back. Most of when your friend had told us that you had married a wife, I became very afraid. Please, remember your first love. Look at Janet. She has always loved you. Please forgive us. Forgive this terrible mistake. Please, my son. She loves you dearly. She has always loved you. Please. Did you forgive me? Sorry. Baby. Baby, my son.